Hey, what's up guys, Michael here. So in this video, I'm gonna quickly talk about how you can add visualizers to your podcast videos to make them look a little bit more appealing and attractive so that when you post on sites like Instagram, people, uh, when they're scrolling through their feed, it'll catch their eye, they'll know it's a, a podcast. And at the end of this video, I'll give you a bonus tip on how to make it even more engaging because there's a fact, 80% of people do have their volume off. So at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a tip on how to combat that. So really quickly, let me give you a use case of how I'm personally using uh, audio visualizers in my content. Um, so recently I started up an Instagram page for my brand, Story Creator App, and um, I've been taking podcast episodes um, that I really enjoy listening to from either friends or, or podcasters that I really respect in, in the industry and taking snippets from their episodes and really highlighting the, the thing that I found to be the most valuable, right? 30 seconds to a minute long clip um, that I'll highlight on my on my page. And I want to do it in a visually appeal, a, appealing way because Instagram is a visual platform. So here's an example of uh, a post I just did from a buddy, Chris. Um, Chris is a content creator and he has some amazing value, amazing tips on his um, Instagram account. And so I really wanted to highlight his recent uh, podcast. And here's the result of the video that I made. So you see we have our audio visualizer, we have our subtitles, we have engaging elements like the progress bar. And the cool thing about this is also the intro that you might have just saw there, which is an animated text intro. And in order to do, to do that, we go to storycreatorapp.com. And here is an example of sort of the workflow that I have uh, for that particular video you just saw. Um, and so what I have here is the intro, Chris Davis is his name. And so we have the animated text there and we can you know, modify that based on who the podcast guest is. And we have a variety of options of different texts that you can choose from. This is just the one that I recently added. Um, it's perfect for names. Uh, you can also change the color to be suited to your brand color or, or the context of the video. Um, and so yeah, this is basically what it looks like. So I'm gonna start from scratch in this video and show you how I did this from scratch. So when you log into StoryCutter, and it's completely free to do this by the way, uh, you log into Story Creator and you'll have a dashboard. Here's a bunch of the content that I've created in the past. And all you have to do is click add new video. A new video will be added at the bottom here. So from here, just open it up and you get uh, your artboard and your timeline uh, ready to go. I call it the, the creator view. And so from here, what you can do is we have an integration with Unsplash where you can actually select a, an image that's fitting to your podcast. If you want something more stock based, you don't have your own uh, artwork. You can also search for something like dogs and then you can add that to the uh, editor. Um, and it's as simple as that. But for Chris, uh, he already had a great graphic that he pre-made ahead of time. And all I did was I dragged uh, from the desktop onto the, the section right here and I just drop and that's it and you're ready to go, you got your image. The same thing applies to the audio. Um, we have an audio trimmer built in. Um, I figured in building that would be super useful for this um, use case because you might have a one hour podcast episode that you recorded, you wanna get the MP3 and then you're gonna upload it. And then from there you can actually select it and trim it just like this. But this one's already trimmed uh, to my liking. So I'm going to hit add without trimming. And there we go. So it adds the first 15 seconds. I'm actually going to drag it over because this episode is 60 seconds. So I'm going to drag it over to 60 seconds. Okay. And then we can also adjust the zoom level here. So we can zoom out to make it a little bit more comfortable. And then from here, so we have 60 seconds of audio um, clip uh, of audio content, right? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just quickly add his image. That's it. Just going to click on it and I'm going to move it over to match that 60 second mark. And that's it. Now I'm gonna resize it. And it's really, really flexible with how it resizes. You can actually crop it as well. So if I wanted to crop it like this, I have that option. But I'm gonna make this go uh, full screen here. Uh, and then the other cool thing about it is if you wanted to target stories, you could do that as well. Just move that handle down and there you go, you have a story. So I'm gonna target the Instagram feed, which is 1080 by 1080. And I'm gonna resize this back down. And there we go, that looks good. So we have Chris in the background, we have the audio of the podcast, we can preview that. Cool, now we have a video ready to go. But in order to add the audio visualizers to really symbolize that this video is an audio-based um, video, which is what we call an audiogram, 
Um, you just go to elements, visualizers, and then I have three different options. I'm going to be continuing to add more options here. I think one cool thing is with this circle one would be to, to have an option over here to add your own logo, your image. And as the music goes, the, the image is in the middle. That'd be really cool. That's coming real soon. But for now, uh, this is the one that I've been using um, for, for little simple videos like this. Just sort of putting that in the middle, just like that. And there we go. We have our podcast video with an audiogram. Uh, the next thing to do to make it a little bit more engaging is add the progress bar. So we have, I'm going to add a bunch of different progress bars, with, one with rounded corners, one with, uh, you know, more modern, more retro, different uh, variations. Uh, but this is the basic one. It's just a um, basic bar. So we're going to take this. We're going to move it all the way over to the 60 second mark, just like that. Same thing with the uh, visualizer. We're going to move that to the 60 second mark. And there we go. So now we have our video ready to go. And that's, that's pretty much it. You click render and you're, and you're ready to go. It's, it's, it's set for social media. Now as the bonus, because you guys stay tuned this far, which you are awesome for staying, staying in this far, is adding subtitles. So subtitles are really, really easy to add. Uh, you just click on the, the track that you want to subtitle, whether it's a video or an audio, you click on it, and then you just hit the add subtitles button. And that's it. And it's going to go, it's going to go do its thing. Now it's loading. We can position it however we want on, on the artboard. I'm going to put it right there. So I think that's going to come in nicely right about here. We have our loading bar at the bottom. That's cool. And as it's doing that, um, I'm just going to give it a second. Um, and, uh, I'm just going to say that, you know, having subtitles is really important because a lot of users, um, that you're targeting on Instagram, uh, are going to have their volumes off. It's going to be on mute or very, very low volume. So they're going to want to see the uh, text as they're scrolling through and maybe it'll catch their eye and they'll be like, huh, this is really interesting. I want to learn more, right? So being on Instagram is, is a step ahead of your competition and it's a necessary thing if you want to target uh, more folks, um, but it's not enough. You need the subtitles because a lot of times you're going to miss out on 80% of users on Instagram. Okay. So subtitles are really cool and it's super easy with story creator. Just click the track, hit add subtitles, do a quick export and it's rendering right now. And then what you get is a video just like this. And it was five minutes of work. So yeah, let me know if I can help you out. Uh, if I can help you get set up with, um, you know, creating your video, it's completely free to use for now. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm very, very reachable. Just hit me up on Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, whatever platform that you can reach out to me on that's most convenient. And I'll respond back to you and help you out in any way, shape or form that I can. Cheers.